Handed out another round of 72 hour notices, this time to homeless people camping along the bike path near Highway 99 at the north end of the 20th Street Park. That's in the south part of the city. Action News Network reporter Camille Acevedo shows us what comes next. Just on the other side of this homeless camp, there is a neighborhood that has plenty to say now that the city is going to clear this area out. City crews handed out 72 hour notices to homeless people living on this bike path. According to the city, 10 people are living there. Those people have three more days to gather their items and relocate to whatever shelter the city refers them to. People living in this neighborhood right behind me have shared their opinions about another homeless camp being cleared out, this time the one closest to their home. A park that's supposed to be, you know, we should be comfortable going to, we just don't feel very safe to. So it's nice to see, you know, a homeless camp that's going to be cleaned up and just feel safe that we can take our dogs in our local community park. I have two younger children and they go to baseball practice over there every day, you know, and it's like, it's scary because they're so young and then the people over there are so open to addressing them like they want to walk up to them and you know what I mean like it's not safe I feel like it gives me a little bit of a peace of mind um, we don't have them coming up to the gate you know asking the kids for water and stuff and it, it just makes me feel more safe I sure hope that they um, start working on solutions and just not moving them around because they'll find another place that they get kicked out of too and this is just like their life all the time and it's sad. Per the settlement agreement, once the city gets the green light from the group of homeless people who sued to clear an area, no one can camp there illegally ever again. If someone returns, the city can cite or arrest them. Crews will soon clear out this area and refer the homeless people to either the Tours shelter or the Pallet shelter and I am told that the Tour shelter does have 66 beds available. In Chico, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on.